just work children. Rolling. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. If you're new, my name is Jenna Wilson. And as I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, I am doing a day in the life of Joey Noel. You know what? I think my ultimate dream would to just be in your head for a day, just to see what it's like in there. Just trap yourself in, baby. Yeah. I think it's crazy and wild. Mm. Well, we've picked quite a good day because it's Monday. Yeah. First day of the week. It's also the 1st of August, so it's first day of the month. After your previous sort of sit down video with me doing the Q&A, we had such rev reviews and everybody thought it was nice to see a side of you that wasn't as... Too crazy. ...carnage. And yeah, actually realised yeah, okay. how smart you are and awesome you are. We're going to be jumping from various bits and bobs, but I just thought it'd be good to start the video by sitting down and just ask him what a typical Monday for Joey looks like. Okay. Me. And then okay. he's making me some lunch as well, so we'll show you that afterwards. Yeah, we have some nice food in the middle of this. So typically for me, basically I've got full-time job, which is flexible. It's not, because it's, it's with takeaways, it's later evening, so I do a lot of portion of that is at like after 5 p.m. So it's just sort of admin before that, which I can do as and when. There's normally about three or four hours of that to do. And then I'll do three or four hours I'll be out with takeaways. So that's the main job. Uh, and then I've also got property business, which needs maintenance and there's just stuff to do with conveyancing and solicitors and making sure that the purchases I'm doing are going through. I've got four going through at the moment. So it's just, you know, making this, sure the solicitors are where they need to be. And if they're not, it's the seller's solicitors and the estate agents are all on board. So there's quite a lot of communication there. Any issues like maintenance that happening with my own, is that I already own with tenants. And then the biggest one, what takes up the most time is actually finding more houses and finding houses for investors. Cause I do sourcing for investors down south that want to buy properties in the north but can't commit to coming up uh, and viewing those houses in the middle of Bradford and potentially not even find a house. So I'll find yeah. houses for them for a fee. As it's a Monday, first thing I do, even though I've got a lot to fit in the day, I'm really not very good as soon as I wake up. So I get out of bed, I'm a complete zombie and I get in front of my laptop with a, I don't really drink coffee to be fair, a glass of water and just sort of wake up while I do my emails. Then I'll go to the gym usually. Uh, and try and get like in 45 minutes an hour in there. Uh, and sometimes go with lovely Joanna and the boys, if we can all match our schedules yeah, up. Yeah, which is very rare. We which is rare. Today. What did you train today? Did a push. I've not actually been to the gym for a few weeks. I've just, as I said, other priorities, bought a couple of houses in the last few weeks. It's just been busy. So today just got in there, got comfortable with it, enjoyed it, which is just basic compound movements really. And then, so you get to the gym, get yeah. home, do you eat before the gym? Uh, usually I'll eat, I'll have a smoothie, like a, sorry, like a Huel shake. Yeah, like Because it. they've got carbs and yeah. protein and just got a little bit more about them, a bit more nutritional, I guess, than just your standard protein shake. Yeah. So I'll have that usually on the way to the gym and if I don't finish it, I'll just leave it and I'll have it on the way. Yeah. On the way back, leave it in the car and have it on the way back. Get home and then it's like shower. Sometimes I've not brushed my teeth yet, so I'll definitely do that then. Yeah. And then it's sit down and, and plan my day really. Um, so Monday morning from then would look like, uh, I need to do my property search which is looking at all the properties that have come on in the last seven days on right move and identify properties that are going to be good for my investors uh, and then I'll book a few then I book those viewings in for the week and just juggle them wherever's wherever's best because it's the first of the month today which I need to do my accounts that's for my limited company my personal properties have got my personal name and then also my personal finance, I uh, print off the month, the previous month's transactions, all in my personal names. You see all those McDonald's and Greg's taps, Starbucks, I don't know. And I go through and I put them in a in a category and then I can see for the month what I've spent money on. Travel, uh, gifts for people, alcohol, health, which will include like a dentist or yeah. something nice for yourself are generally included in there. Or in, uh, gym, things like that. anything that's like good for me. That's normally quite a small amount of money. <laughs> yeah, holidays, events, uh, takeaways, and I split takeaways in restaurants you wouldn't believe. Like anything like a, a Starbucks or McDonald's or coffee, it all goes in takeaways. takeaways. And it's food on the go. And I think if everyone did that, they'd be disgusted how, how much, much they, spend. they spend on yeah. food that's just, just convenient yeah. and not necessary. One of Joey's other things that he loves to do, which we will share, is cook for his friends. And then also on a Monday, I write a food plan for the week. Which we're going to do yeah. soon. We're going to do in a second. And then I really love, something that I really enjoy doing, is going to the butchers and the fruit and veg shop and the fishmongers or whatever, we're going to have fish and just buy from local businesses and buy from smaller businesses. And then I find that my eldest shop ends up only costing like eight quid, you know, for that. Yeah. Not like toilet paper, olive oil, yeah. stuff like that. Love it. So, yeah. So, we're going to have some lunch now. Show us what you cooked. We'll sit and do our food plan. Maybe have a go at some 
accounts and property yeah. in a little bit yeah. and then we'll meet somewhere else to chat about the rest of your day. Yeah. So uh, I basically just sliced open a chicken breast, just butterflied it and then put some salami and chorizo and what, you know, whatever we had yeah. from making pizzas the other night yeah. and some mozzarella in there. Stefan got blue cheese uh, and then just some fresh basil leaves. Put it over, put it in the oven for like... 16, 17 minutes, um, and then the pasta is just pasta, pasta water at the end, pesto and ricotta, and some fresh black pepper. Taste test. Mm. Nice. So nice. You've given me more pasta than you've given you. Are you trying to beef me up? Yeah, the county show. <laughs> so another part of Joey's day is doing yucky smelly farts. I'm gonna have to come closer to feed show me what you're doing and you've just done a yucky fart. I'm gonna smell it. I can't smell it. I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> right, show me what you're doing, I'll you take smelly on man. The, uh, each week I'll put in my criteria into right move, which What's is your criteria. So I have a source in an investing area which I've drawn myself. Love it. And then so I look at properties within this area in the last seven days that are under £110,000. Houses, not flats. And yeah, just in the last seven days, I searched that. So it's been 31, which isn't that much. And that's because the supply at the moment of property is pretty low. In the good old days before COVID, that would be more like 65, 70. So a house on there for 19 grand. Yeah. Bradford, baby. It's for auction though. So we don't look at any auction properties. Right. Because that, that's on for £19,000. So right now that auction company, they'll have 30 houses for sale on the day of that. That's going to be their front page one to get everyone in the door. Right. To get loads of, oh yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap. That one will probably go for 65, 70 grand. Okay. If anyone's nerdy enough, they can go and check that and see that I'm probably right. So the first one we're looking at here is property in Bradford. And what I look to do is find a, a property that I can add value to. So unless you really love orange, we could definitely add value to this property. <laughs> so it's not an amazing condition, needs a new kitchen. So it's on for 70. The next thing I do is look at the land registry part of Right Move to see what's sold in this area in the last two years. And then if I can find a two bed house that's sold for say like 95, 100 grand, and I can buy this for 70, then that's probably worth doing it because it won't cost me that much to do the refurb. The refurb would cost me on something like that, maybe like eight or 9,000. So I'm just looking through and jumping from like 60 to 100, if there's value in me buying that and there's enough profit to be made out of it. So in that one, no. When I do find one, I put it into my calculator and that'll spit out a return on investment for the property. Once I put in the purchase price, the end price, once the refurb's done, the cost of the refurb and the expense expected monthly rent and uh, what I'm looking for is about 20% plus. Well, obviously the less houses makes it quicker so this would take me an hour uh, booking the viewings in for the, this week and then say if I I might find last week I only found one but the week before maybe three but I'd say on average two or three and I put an offer in everything that I view and some of them are cheeky low because that's just how the numbers work and sometimes I get them but most times I don't. I'd say 25% of the houses are now maybe like 20% that of you I, I'll get. Cool. Right we are ready to do our food plan for the week. So I've written Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and I've written BLD for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Oh, breakfast, dinner, tea? Yeah, BL, BLT probably for me, breakfast, lunch and tea. They could, they could listen to my own three times a day. <laughs> I'm thinking a shake for breakfast every day. Yeah. I've got shakes in, yeah, I've got plenty of shake. For shakes is almond milk. Okay. Do you want any ice cubes for it? That can make a shake really nice. I make nice my own ice cubes. That's amazing. Got can you send cube. me the recipe? I've got ice <laughs> <laughs> now lunches what i tend to do is i like i quite like eating chicken and rice for lunch and it's very easy to me yeah, i'm thinking chicken salad are you, are you, tell me what you got you want like quite lower carb yeah meal. low yeah like healthily lower carb meals so i'm thinking okay how about this just for an idea nando's chicken sauce okay. they get yourself some chicken thighs and some tender stem broccoli that's a really nice lunch that was doing together okay when you do tender stem broccoli put some salt on it and do it in the i oven. think i might do um I might do that, but then also put it on a bed of salad. What big about a, big, a bag of spinach? When you put the hot chicken on it, it sort of like cooks it Wilkes. slightly on the plate yeah, okay, and it's quite like nice it. to eat. I like it. And I think one thing I was saying last week, because I did uh, me and Asha's salad on the day that we went training. Mm. It took me minutes, Joe. That's because it does take it minutes. It took me minutes. And I'm Making like, food is more convenient Why? than ordering it or going. Why am I buying a meal deal every day? So, right, so I'm going to do chicken salad and I'm going to do that every day. Do you want a steak? Do you want to mix it up by having like a bit of a fish salad one day or a steak salad? I could get a couple of tins of tuna. Would you like that? Just because I find if you have like five days of one meal, yeah, okay. it just get a bit boring. I could, I could say chicken slash tuna salad. Yeah. 
And I could get some tuna. Some sweet corn, sweet corn in there. Perfect. Oh. Then, next thing is in my freezer, bought some meatballs last week. So, tea. You want to do a meatball? Monday, Tuesday, I could do. How would you know? Tell me how you normally do meatballs. Just meatballs, chopped tomatoes, tin tomatoes, a load of garlic, salt, and herbs, mushrooms, onions. Nice. Probably veg, broccoli, and cauliflower. And the only thing I need to buy for that is mush mushies. That's all I need, just my lunches. Mm, is it mad how much money you're going to say? If that's going to cost you like £11. If that? Yeah. Will we go to the butchers for these then or not? Yeah, because I'm going to butchers. All right, so we'll get chicken thighs. Will they do, instead of tuna then, should I get something different? Should I get maybe steak? Yeah, or... get steak. I wish we lived together. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? Probably get... If you want to move in, I could put you a little air bit on this. I'd probably get fat living with people. you. No, I eat, I eat good food. I don't eat if I don't train, I'll, I But I think I a lot of the stuff quickly. that you, because you were trying to gain weight a lot of the time, so you're not mm. really thinking about what you're putting in your food. I, and yeah, a lot of the extra stuff that you throw in, even just the oil that you're cooking and the oh, yeah, throwing in the ricotta and the pasta, oh, God, like yeah. just makes the calories add up. Mm. I, I think I've, that's because that's how I eat. Yeah. If I don't eat like that, I very quickly lose weight. Yeah. And I'm sure that'll, that'll change at one point with my. Whereas I'm the opposite. If I ate like you ate, I'd very quickly put on weight. A lot of people are like that. Yeah. But me, Lou, Night. Me and Ash are so different to you, Luke and I. Am. Yeah, I know. It's 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 irritating for both of us. Can we, you want what you can't have? Of course you do. Joe, how much did you spend? Fifteen pounds sixty-eight. And, and I... I've got about ten more pounds to spend at the butchers tomorrow morning. Yeah. So I spent spent twenty-seven pounds seventy-three. Yeah. Something like that. He told me about twenty-six times. Twenty-seven seventy-three. But that's everything. All my meals for the week. I've got a couple of bits that'll last me longer than a week as well. Like snacks. salt and Professor Peppy. That's the last today. Yeah, it will. And some tea and things like that. So yeah, food shop done. I love being Joey on a Monday. Can we do this every week? Of course, of course. Yay. I'm doing it anyway, so just join in. Yay!